It's mailbag time with non copyrighted music. Ooh, this is well packed. A lot of padding to protect many things. I think these are driver motors for steppers, I'm thinking. It's a shield, is it? Yeah, I think this is an Arduino shield. And then these little guys sit on the top. Let's put one together. Extremely light. Just cut a corner off here. And still smouldering. Perfect. What? What is that? No, surely not. What else is in this packet? That is it. Well, that's not right. One tiny LM35. Not happy. Winding back to the rage over finding one of these little temperature sensors, I believe that in an earlier order, I'd ordered five and they could only send four and I said, don't worry about it, but they obviously did. So shout out to those guys and I'll, um, I'll put a link up here as well. Well, not a link, but I'll put a little graphic up here which shows which store it was, but they've gone for the sake of reputation and you've got to love that. They have sent one of these little temperature sensors, LM85s, I think it is. And, uh, yep, LM85 temperature sensor. So, good deal. I might use this particular one in a whole separate project, or, or should I say circuit, just to check how it works, maybe get a bit of code up and, uh, and see what those little guys can do. But thank you so much to that supplier. A little bit of rage followed by um, a little bit of joy. Kidoki, and we've got little packets. Ah, yeah, little packets. So this is. Uh, let's open one up. The Max Six Six Seven Five. Um, let's get a little bit closer and have a look at that. Max 6675 chip. And then we've got some inputs and outputs. And basically what this is, it's for uh, connecting up thermocouples to, and it's this guy that does the translation, uh, which you can then read a signal to, to find out what the temperature is of uh, whatever you're measuring. So this, yeah, this goes back to the oven that uh, I put together to do reflow and uh, just keeping an eye on the temperature inside. Uh, and uh, these little guys hook up between the thermocouple and the uh, and the uh, Arduino or AVR or whatever you've got monitoring it. So I've just got, looks like, three more of those. All right, let's try here. And we've got, what is this? Oh, I think these are photodiodes. Why is it flaring so much? That's nicer. Yes, yeah, so I'll just cut a little corner of here. So I've just done a recent project with uh, photodiodes. And uh, yeah, I had enough probably. But I thought if I'm using them, I should probably replenish them. So, and here they are. I wonder how close I can get to that. Yeah, that's pretty close. So how I've used these is using this in a voltage divider. And then on the other side of the divider, you would have something like a 10K pot. So you can um, vary the sensitivity of the uh, of the pickup and basically just feed the signal off to an analog to digital converter to try and get some sense of what the light is around the place. Um, I might just uh, hook it up to... Um, yeah, let's hook up to one of the multimeters and shine some light on it and see if we can't get it to change.
Okay, so I've just hooked it up to a multimeter here. I do have a little torch, so I'll just put that in here. And yeah, you can see that. You can see that change. Of course, the big change is when you cover it up. Yeah, so uh, pretty cool little uh, things, photodiodes, and I'm sure I'll find lots more uses for them. Righto, let's go for a corner. And we have something. Transistors. Yes, I think so. Transistors. So let's see if we can get in a little bit close on that. What is it? Nope, can't see. Oh, I can almost see. No, I think I have to get right down and have a look. IRF. 9Z34N. Hmm. Let's throw it in the old transistor tester and see what we're looking at. IRF 9Z34N. And the transistor tester says MOSFET. P channel MOSFET. Uh, so I'll put the uh, the specs up here, um, but I'm suspecting a power MOSFET because I've been collecting some of those recently for some, well, I, I think initially audio, um, but there's also a couple of little circuits I'm interested in looking at, uh, which I guess we'll get to eventually. So smooth and shiny. And Oh, a parcel and a parcel. They're the best kind. Okay. It's a Russian parcel. And oh, I could have done a better job there. Let's try it a little bit harder. Yes, good. And we have, I think, lots of inductors. Yeah, let's get a little closer to those. SMD inductors, and uh, I just, yeah, I do use inductors from time to time, particularly with some of the QX5252 projects. Um, you are a lot higher inductance, but um, I'm just fiddling around with some uh, little circuits which may or may not come to fruition, and I thought these little guys, um, they look like um, 0805s. They're quite small anyway, but um, yeah, from very small inductance up to quite high. Okay, can you see my little friend? So this is from the 33 microhenry packet. So I'm just going to put it between 1 and 2 here and press. Hopefully this won't go flying across the room. Try and make good contact. And press and press. Will it even be picked up as an inductor? Yes, it's an inductor. And it's reading 50 micro Henry, which is probably getting close to the tolerance of the uh, tester anyway. So yeah, pretty good. Lots of different SMD inductors. Little light guy, quite light. And mm, is it electronics or is it something to do with puppies or both? So I recently uh, lost a puppy for five hours when she decided to go AWOL in the bush. And, uh, and so I've got a couple of reflective collars and these guys, if I pull that tab out, that should then, <laughs> look at that, that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, uh, the reflective collars I think will help and also the, uh, the flashing LEDs should help as well. So um, one for Freya, one for Mac, and um, yeah, I'm not sure if it'll help in terms of uh, you know them wandering off or not, but it might help in terms of them finding it. Oh, lots of different patterns too. Um, yeah, I quite like that actually. Uh, let's turn some lights off and see what it looks like. Yeah, we'd probably spot that puppy, wouldn't we? That one's just on the whole time. What else we got? And off. So three patterns. 
I like it. Good one. Okay, let's have a look, see what's in this guy. And we've got, aha, LED strips. And specifically, I think from memory, 5 volt. So, oh, it didn't work out as expected. Looks like 10? 10 5 volt LED strips. They look like they're also on aluminium backing for heat dissipation. Yeah, they are too. Look at that. And they've got little resistors on them. Current limiting resistors, which are. Uh, Cannot read that upside down. 2R40? Maybe? Yeah, hard to see that. Uh, let's plug one in anyway and, uh, and see what sort of light we can get out of it. So 2.4 ohm resistors at either end. And uh, I've got 5 volts coming through. And I'm going to current limit that at half an amp. <laughs> see what happens uh, let's go oh okay so we're reaching 0.3 amps 300 milliamps yeah it's that's pretty good uh, are these connected yes they are so okay so um yeah these are going to be good for those little hallway lights that i've been building recently and uh it, they're a bit you know obviously they're a bit flatter and with the current limiting there, yeah, it should be good. Yeah, nice little units. So there's 10 of those, and uh, they, look, they look pretty good, pretty sturdy. Yeah, I like those. That is the mailbag for the week, and uh, we'll catch you next time. See ya.